good evening friends welcome back to our youtube channel coding technologies in this video lecture i would like to discuss about the virtues of coding questions that were asked recently that was held on 7 7 2022 if you observe the input format in the first line the user needs to enter a single string as input and what is the output format the output will be either 0 or 1 depending on whether the given string is polyndrome or not if it is polyndrome we need to return 1 as output else we need to return 0 as output firstly what is meant by polyndrome here we are having a note on what is meant by polyndrome a string is said to be polyndrome if the reverse of the string is same as the actual string for example if i take that as an example the reverse of dad is also same as dad then we can say that the string dad is polyndrome let's take another example a uh, dog as an example if you write the reverse of the string g o d we will get god as the reverse of the string these two strings are not same right that's why that string is not a polyndrome we need to return zero as output let us have a look on sample test cases this will help us a lot to understand the program well so in the example one we will give level as an example and expected output is one because if you write a reverse to the level we will get level as an output hence the string is polyndrome and in the second example the input is virtuosa if you write reverse to virtuosa that means a s u t r i v we will get a s u t r i v this is not same as virtuosa right that's why we will return 0 as output. I hope all of you understand the program well. That means uh, what is the logic between the input format and output format. If you are having any queries, please comment it below. And before going to the execution, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please do like, share and subscribe and press bell icon. Then only you will get notification whenever I upload a new video. And if you are having any doubts on any particular topic in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, C, C++ or Java, please comment it below. I will try to clarify your doubts. Okay, then move on to the execution part. Before that, I just remove the remove all access data. In Java, the first statement is we need to create the class. That's why I'm creating a class. And name of the class is Vachusa 3. Vachusa 3. And in the second step, we need to write main function public static void main. The public static void main function string array as an argument string art after writing the main function we need to take string input from the user in java if you want to take any input from the user we need scanner class because in scanner class we are having different functions in order to take different type of inputs like string input integer input or character input so there are many functions that are available in scanner class in order to take the input but the scanner class is not available in our program. The scanner class is available in util package. That's why I'm going to import the scanner class into our program. Import java.util.star. All the packages that are available in util package will be imported into our program. We can easily access them. After that, I'm creating object to the scanner class in order to access the functions that are available in scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in next we need to take a string input string str equal to sc dot next line is a function it is available in scanner class in order to take string input from the user after taking the string input we need to generate the reverse of the string by by go through the each and every character in the given string so for storing the reverse of the string i just take another variable string reverse string reverse equal to initially the string is empty right that's why i will give empty string after that i need to iterate each and every character in the given string from reverse 
because we need to find the string in reverse order that's why i'm going to iterate each and every character in reverse order for that i'm using one for loop for int i equal to str dot length minus one length minus one then i greater than or equal to zero i value is greater than or equal to zero then in each iteration we need to decrease the i value i am taking i equal to str dot length minus one why i am taking i value is str dot length minus one because we need to iterate the string from reverse order that's why i am taking i value equal to str dot length minus one inside the for loop we need to append the character that we are getting from the string str to rev that's why i am writing rev reverse equal to reverse initially reverse value is space reverse plus str dot caret of i caret of what happens inside the for loop let us understand with an example for example if i take uh, the string value is that and the indexes for this string is 0 1 2 respectively and inside the for loop first the i value is because if we if you write str dot length the uh, str dot length value is 3 3 minus 1 we will get 2 it will check it is greater than or equal to 0 2 is greater than 0 it it comes inside the loop then reverse equal to reverse plus str dot character of i reverse is initially space plus str dot character of i str dot character of i value is d here so d is appended to reverse in the next iteration the i value is decremented and the i value is 1 here and it is greater than 0 and it is comes inside the loop and reverse value is d and plus a is appended here d a is appended to REV in the next iteration the i value is 0 it is not greater than 0 but it is equal to 0 that's why it comes inside the loop and reverse equal to reverse d already da is present plus str dot character of 0 we will get d again so da plus d we will get dad after completion of this for loop we just check if REV double equal to str. If these two strings are equal, then system dot out dot print of one. If these two are equal, we just simply print one else zero else zero. Save the program. I'm saving the file in C drive then fight well in fight well i'm saving the file as virtusa3 already virtusa12 is available i'm saving the file as virtusa3.java after that just open command prompt in order to execute the program cmd then maximize and change the directory because the file is available in c drive cd slash cd space fight well because the file is available in fight well. In fight well, we are having a folder called virtusa3.java. We need to compile the program in order to check if there is any errors in our program or not. Um, Java C is used in order to compile the program. Java C followed by virtusa3. Virtusa, sorry, virtusa3.java. It is compiling the program. It shows that our pro it shows that there is no errors in our program. Then run the program java followed by virtusa virtusa e it is asking for string input i am going to give that and i am expecting but as output but here we are getting zero as output why the output is zero because here we are checking reverse double equal to str or not it will check the references of the string where the strings are stored so in order to overcome this problem we are having a function called equals it will only fix 
content of the strings just save the program and run it once java c virtusa 3 dot java then run the program and i am giving dad here we are getting one as output let's run one more test case and i am giving mom m o m if you reverse this string we will get mom only that's why we are expecting one as output let's check whether it is executing same or not here also we are observing that one as output let's check one more test case and i am giving virtue sum and we are expecting zero as output here we are observing that the output is zero i hope all of you understand the program well if you are having any doubts please comment it below i will try to clarify your doubts if you like the video then like else dislike the video that will help me a lot in order to improve my teaching skills thank you all